Did you know people spend an average of 90% of their waking hours on some sort of device? And uh, I may or may not be part of that statistic. Because of that, I decided to do something our entire population fears. Living without a phone for 50 hours. Dun dun dun. Alright, <laughs> it's time ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to film this video whatsoever. I got my phone here. I have this trusty dusty safe here that I'm going to be locking my phone up in for the next 50 hours. Alright, so we're going to open this puppy up. Voila, this is meant for keeping phones and that's all it's meant for. Sneak my phone on. Wow, that's a perfect fit, dog. And with this case shutting, our 50 hour timer starts now. Well, so the rules for this challenge are pretty simple, to be honest with you. There really aren't any. The only things I cannot do is look at screens at all. I have to avoid screens at all costs, so that means computers, TV right behind me, and my phone that is obviously locked up. I could have just done my phone and probably would have been the same challenge, but I decided I'm already doing it. I might as well go full send and not use any electronics whatsoever. So I'm going to be a bored mofo. So you might be sitting here asking to yourself right now, why the frick would you ever do something like this in your entire life? Honestly, I'm starting to contemplate the same thing. As we all know, there's something in your brain called dopamine. And kind of like anything whatsoever in your life, as you start getting more and more of something, you start building up a tolerance to it. Meaning, in order to get the same effect from that substance or dopamine, for example, you need to get higher and higher levels. So what gives you dopamine? Well, things like completing something hard to do. For example, let's say you win on a high hike to hike up a mountain, getting to the top of that mountain would give you a spike of dopamine. But there are also bad things that give you dopamine, such as social media, scrolling on your phone, sexual activity in a negative way, stuff like that gives you dopamine. And when it's very easy to achieve dopamine doing some things like that, you're not going to go out searching for dopamine by doing hard things that will actually fulfill you and make you a better person in life. Meaning you're not going to enjoy working out, you're not going to enjoy your work. Those hard things that take a while to actually get that dopamine, because you literally just have dopamine mean in your pocket or on your computer at all times easily accessible literally by you just clicking on an app and scrolling so our entire population is brainwashed by this dopamine their baseline levels of dopamine are so much higher than what our ancestors levels used to be for example which is why we are out here with a purpose searching for stuff that is hard to do obviously I have looked at social media in my day done instant gratification stuff in my day I'm not gonna say I have it but that's why I'm gonna be doing this challenge because there's actually a way to reset Set your dopamine levels by doing things like this and removing those easy dopamine things called a dopamine detox and it will get you back to those baseline levels making things like your work and working out a whole lot more enjoyable because you're getting more achievement from that. That's the reason I'm doing it. Is it gonna work? I hope so. If not, this is the biggest waste of 50 hours in my life. I about two hours have passed now, two out of 50. Gosh dang it. Um, but I've just been doing things. I've been tidying up my room and stuff that I actually had to get done. Still feel freaking bored. Like I can't work without my laptop. I really can't do anything at all, which is another problem I'm starting to run into during this 50 hours. I'm not going to be able to get any work done whatsoever, which is going to send me back a lot. So what's the next best thing I can do? Work out. One lengthy little workout later. I have no idea how long it was exactly because I don't have a phone. There's no clock in there. It felt like I was in there for four hours though. This is like the first nice day we've had since winter. It feels freaking amazing out here. It's only like, I was gonna check the temperature. I don't have my phone. 60 degrees, I think, but dude, it's so beautiful out here. I'm probably just gonna sit out here for a little bit. Maybe I'll go grab my book to read and just start reading out here, but it's so magnificent. All right, a few hours have passed officially. I have probably eaten seven times since the challenge has started already is like my only type of dopamine i'm able to get into my brain is eating and i'm just so bored i have nothing to do so i'm just grubbing maybe this is what i gotta do to put on weight but um i'm bored out of my mind i'm doing the most random things trying to figure out what to do I'm going a little bit crazy just a teeny bit crazy i'm so tempted just to freaking open this thing and get my phone out but i just gotta remember hopefully there are benefits to this and obviously 99.999 percent of the world need this right now so if you're ever sitting there like, oh, I just don't get motivation to work, blah, blah, blah. First of all, motivation is a scam. Don't rely on motivation. Second of all, maybe try this out. It might just be that your dopamine sensors are so messed up that you need this. We need more people with actual purpose in the world. So maybe you'll be the one to do it. Motivation with Carson, baby. Um, It's starting to get pretty close to nighttime. The sun's setting. So honestly, I'm not sure what else to do. I'm probably just going to get ready for bed and read in bed till I fall asleep. Maybe this is going to be my time to catch up on sleep finally. Day number one though it was tough 
I'm hoping tomorrow is a little bit easier. I think tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day as well from when I checked. So I'm gonna go on maybe like a walk or a run and work out, spend some time outside and maybe finish my book or something. That's day one in the books. <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to day number two. Let's get it. Bro, I was just sitting there doing some math. I just finally got out of bed after freaking passing out again after I filmed that last clip. Um, I just showered and stuff, but I was just looking and doing the math on the clock. I slept for 11 hours, 11 hours, dog. Cause normally when I lay down in bed, I sit there and like watch YouTube and stuff. That's like my relaxing time for the day. And I'll do that for like an hour or so. Last night, I didn't have that. Reading my book, I passed out within like five minutes i was out cold 11 hours holy frick i'm ex freaking excited to see what my whoop says about this crazy I'm just sitting down, getting ready to read this book that I've literally been trying to read for the past year. I'm about halfway done with it, but bro, there's literally dust on it. I don't know if you can see that. There's dust on it from how long it's been since I read it. That's disgusting. But honestly, right now, it is so relaxing just to be able to have nothing. For these past, like really ever since I started YouTube, I've always had something I've had to do. I've always had to be responding to texts, emails, something like that, doing some sort of work. Right now, it's like a vacation, even better than a vacation. I can just sit here unbothered and just do my thing. So I'm going to sit down, finish this book I've been waiting to finish forever, and literally I could just do whatever I want. It's amazing, bro. Book has been complete. It did take me a few hours to do, I will say, but it's such a great book, very motivational. Anyways, um, I didn't really know what I was going to do right now. It's Saturday, so technically it's not a workout day. I might do a quick workout just cause, but I think I'm just gonna go on a little walk. It's such a beautiful day. I'm in freaking shorts. It's awesome. So I'm just gonna go on a little walk, enjoy this beautiful view out here behind me. This is great, dude. I'm enjoying this. It's awesome. <laughs> There's part of me that does kind of just feel guilty that I'm doing this, feeling like I should be doing something else, so this is like a form of slacking in a way. But I think, like, we are very caught up in just hustling 24-7. Like, we just are pressured from watching other people and seeing what other people do and feeling like we're not doing enough. It might just be me, but that's exactly how I feel, and I feel a constant pressure to be doing more all the time. But being able to unplug and just appreciate the little things in life, realizing that whatever spot you're in right now is reflective refreshing after doing this and i'm wrapping up now the sun's about to set in like the next few hours and i'll go to bed it makes me feel like i want to start doing something like this like one day a week just dedicating it to doing nothing unplugging from the entire world not worrying about what's happening overseas or anywhere else just literally focusing on me is game changing. And with that, the sun is setting and this challenge is officially coming to an end, ladies and gentlemen. I somehow survived and honestly, it was a more pleasant experience than I was expecting. Honestly, I was a little bit skeptical on this challenge at first, but I highly recommend each and every one of you do try this. It doesn't have to be for 50 hours. It doesn't have to even be for 24 hours. Literally just spend a few hours doing nothing. And I know some of you might say, oh, I don't have time for that. I don't got time. You got time. I guarantee you have time. Find the time and make it happen. At least that is unless you want to look like this the rest of your life. But that's up to you.